This is a Can-Am WH132XHD IBR welded steel chain with a 1 inch rivet. To field rivet this chain you will need two tradespersons, a G clamp, a 5kg sledgehammer, an oxyacetylene heating torch and a 30-40kg dead weight. We have used a piece of 70mm steel plate. Clamp the chain and hammer the rivet home. The G clamp prevents the sidebars from spreading. The sidebar should be pulled up to the shoulder of the rivet at the beginning of the double flat. Remove the G clamp. Apply heat to the tail end of the rivet. Avoid directly heating the chain sidebar. Heat the rivet tail to an orange heat or approximately 1000 degrees Celsius. Continue until the orange heat progresses down the rivet until it meets the sidebar. Remove the heating torch and peen the rivet head over the sidebar. The first two or three blows will be the most important as the rivet will cool and harden rapidly. It is important the rivet is quickly peened over while still at the orange heat and mailable so it will completely backfill the punched hole in the sidebar. When finished, the clearances between the field riveted links should match those of the preceding factory riveted links. Ensure any hot work and monitoring procedures are followed to guard against fires when field riveting chain. This video was made by Supply Services Limited, New Zealand distributor for quality North American made welded steel Can-Am chains since 1980.